And French President Emmanuel Macron's visit to Washington begins a week of European pressure on President Trump to keep the United States in the Iran nuclear deal. The president has set a May 12th deadline where he wants the European allies to agree to changes around Iran policy. If not to his satisfaction, he says he's going to withdraw the U.S. from the agreement. The French president did say on Fox News Sunday, however, that he believes that the current deal is the best option out there. But for nuclear... What do you have as a better option? I don't see it. What is the what if scenario? Or your plan B? I don't have any plan B for nuclear against, uh, against Iran. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif tweeted, quote, President Macron is correct in saying there's no plan B on JCPOA. It's either all or nothing. European leaders should encourage President Trump not to just stay in the nuclear deal, but more importantly, to begin implementing his part of the bargain in good faith. German Chancellor Angela Merkel will likely reinforce that message Friday when she travels to Washington. Germany, France and the United Kingdom are negotiating with the U.S. to satisfy the Trump administration on Iran. Officials say they've mostly agreed on measures to counter Iran's ballistic missile program to bolster inspections. The major sticking point, the U.S. wants to extend prohibitions on Iran's nuclear program beyond what's set out in the deal. Now, the U.S. argues that the Iran deal gave too much up front to Iran and continues giving Iran too much in benefits. Uh, they argue that Iran's behavior has become more aggressive since the nuclear agreement whether it's uh, the ballistic missile program and interventions in war in Syria, Yemen, along with cyber activities.